So later this week, we'll be releasing Starter Pack 3, a TomTom Tom collection I wrote of 36 puzzles that are great examples of what handcrafted Kalkidoku can do. This is not from the book, but it's in similar difficulty to sort of the middle uh, difficulty in the book of, a, of an operationalist 6x6 grid with some pretty clean theming. We've got an outer frame that's actually easier than the inner frame, so let's just get started by seeing that we've got some big uh, numbers that have to be products. 20 has to be two, 4 times 5, and 24 in this grid size has to be 4 times 6, and that actually moves this 4 over. Uh, 18 is going to be 3 uh, times 6, and that leaves behind in this first row 1 and 2. Where 16 could initially be a, a sum, like 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus 1, it no longer can be. We have 2 and 1, that's 3, leaves behind 13. This can't be a sum of 13, so this has to be a product of 8 instead. And 8, 2 to the, th the third has to be a 4 with a 2. In this case, puts a 1 here, puts a 2 over here. 3, 5, 6 to finish this first column, and only 3 and 5 work to make an 8. That's a sum. 6 in the cell with a 4 makes the 10 work. Coming down this right side, 1, 2, 3 are the digits that are going to go into these cells, and to make 30 work out, this would be a product. 1, 2, and 3 only make a 6, 1 is 2 times 3, and that puts a 1 down here, and makes this maybe the first sticking point uh, in the puzzle, and some interesting things to observe from here. Um, you don't necessarily have to use this at all, but one thing you can see is actually where we don't know any threes for sure, we know where four of them generally go, and that leaves behind these four cells for the other three. So you can get a three in this box, that will eventually tell you like three, five, six goes up here. Like that's one way you can make progress is to actually look at the pairs and think through them. You can also see, for instance, with the fours, um, that there are uh, two fours in these, uh, this two by two box. So you could you know, think through what that means. And that that bridges across cages is why it's a little less useful right now. But that may not be the intended strat. I think where I put a 48 as a large product here, I figured most people would probably home on this one. And it's pretty true that it's a good one to look at. You can't get to 48 with two numbers. So putting a one into this cage is a non-starter. And if you think about 48, it's two to the fourth or 16 times three. And two to the fourth means that each cell has to roughly be a factor of two, or one cell will need to have two factors of two. There's no option to actually have four, four, and three because of the four up here. But one of these cells has to be at least two to the second. And then each of these cells is going to have a factor of two, and that means two and six is the way this works out. And the three comes up top. Um, different things to do with that, but one is to just actually recognize six can only be either the sum or product of one, two, and three. And so putting in that two leads to a quick cascade across these outer uh, digits. We get a case where we have a five that's going to have to be in one of these cells, and actually a five that has to be in one of these cells. That's going to mean this is a one. This two actually also forced the rows and columns up here a little more. So we'll put this into the grid. Uh, last four that can be placed is right here. And that has to have a 1 uh, above it. There's no other way this breaks down and works. That puts in this one 5, moves up this 1. It means the digits here are 3 with 5. The 3 has to be on the left. We have 1 and 5 to finish this space. And to get to 16, 1 plus 5 plus 6 is how that works. 6, 2, 2, 3, 3, 5 is doing Latin square movement. And we get to the end of this grid. So uh, hopefully a, a good you know entry level TomTom uh, -tom puzzle to get some sense of what these are like, but enjoyable. Uh, I, I think you'll really appreciate the Starter Pack 3 collection, so please check that out when it gets released this weekend. Thanks, we'll see you again soon.